Uh, hi guys, this is Caleb from Group Hunt. So we're here to talk about the Ethnotech Raja Backpack. So this is the Raja Guatemala One Pack. So this is the one you can get in the shops and you would get it with this kind of thread. So a bit more on the Ethnotech brand. Ethnotech is actually like a socially conscious brand. So what they do is that they source out uh, village artisans in big Guatemala, India, Vietnam. And then what they do is that they get them to do a certain weave that is characteristic of their culture and then they feature it on their bags. So these threads are actually, they call them tech threads, they're actually removable. So it, it's actually velcroed on. You just need to unclip the sides and then just peel that off. And it comes out just like that. So this tech thread that we have has one zip pocket in the middle. So this is good for magazines or wallet if you have. And we're actually going to be switching it over to the one this one is the Ballistic Black. So this is the one that actually we're featuring on our website right now. So this is the one that you can get. So you'll be getting it in this configuration. But I just want to point out that it's a group hunt special because you can't actually buy the Ballistic Black together with the backpack. You actually have to get like one of, the, one of these normal threads first. And then you buy this for an additional 40 USD. So now you have the Ballistic Black edition of the Raja backpack. So this is the 30 litre. So I'm just going to start covering with you guys the material first. You're using a, a high quality canvas. I wouldn't say it's water resistant, doesn't feel that way. So if, it, if you get in the rain, it's still going to get wet. I think it's going to hold up a bit, but you might want to throw on a rain cover if you're, if you're caught in the rain. Just uh, on the, the pocket. So like the other one, which just had a zip, this one you have a pocket in front, which has some sort of organization. So you could put some pens, a power bank and things like that. That's what I, I mean, I put my power bank in front here, easy to access. You have a zip up here also. This one is quite handy. It, it goes somewhat all the way down. It's great if you want to put a book, you know, it's easy to take out on the train. So once you have it on, you actually have to clip the side, side clips on. This helps you to compress the bag if you need it. So from the back, the straps are reasonably padded. I wouldn't say they're the, 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 the best or thickest padding I had, but they've got a good fair amount of mesh to give you good breathing. You have a thick mesh also on the back, and I like how the, the center channel is very prominent. So this really allows for airflow. So, it does, so you don't perspire that much, especially in Singapore. So let's move to the back. You have a dedicated laptop compartment. So it's nothing very flashy. It's just something that has, um, uh, it's a bit like a felt, so it's got a good amount of padding. It's, it's not elevated like most of the bags, but you do have this removable padding piece at the bottom. So this helps to keep your laptop padded. So for me, I use a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So I found a bit of difficulty uh, putting my laptop inside. I had to remove this. So I take this out and then my laptop fits inside. So I mean, if you use a 13 inch or 12 inch, then no issue lah. So moving on to the sides of the bags, we have two side compartments. The first one with the Ethnotech logo here. So you actually have a pouch here, which is quite thin. I mean, I, I use this for my wallet, so it's easy to access. And then you have also an organizer pouch on the inside. So this allows you to put maybe your iPod, maybe your earphones, so anything that is slim. I do like the design points on the inside. This, this actually looks like the India design uh, feature on some of their bags. So it's nice that they do have some weaving inside. Gives the, gives the bag a bit of character. So you go to the other side, this is where you have your water bottle compartment. So it's not very expandable. You can't, I wouldn't fit a Nalgene in that, but I mean a normal hydro flask, a normal water bottle would fit there. This one, this side pocket, however, goes right into the bag. So again, you have that very nice, very uh, outstanding design. And then you have basically your way into the bag. So this is good. I mean, one problem with a lot of top loading bags is that when you put everything inside and you want to take stuff out, you have to unroll everything again, which is a bit difficult. So if you have this side access, it's actually good because you can get stuff at the bottom really fast without having to take it out. So like I said, it's a top loader. I think what I really liked about the top loader is that this one has buttons. So you go inside and the material that I'm feeling, it has a bit of a shine to it. I think there's a bit of a waterproof coating. So if you go into the bag itself, you do have a sort of a mesh pouch here. So this one goes only halfway down the bag. Other than that, the internal compartment is actually pretty simple. I mean, behind that, you do have a slot for documents. It goes all the way down in the bag, but it's pretty, it's a pretty simple bag. One interesting thing that I think is different from the normal tech thread is that you notice that there's an inclusion of, uh, you have a, like a sort of circular carabiner. Some people think it looks like a bull nose ring, but I mean, it does, it does, uh, it does its job in a way that you can, you can hang stuff here if you, if you, if you needed to hang like maybe a bag, a uh, plastic bag of, of clothes, or if you wanted to clip your shoes on and you want to keep it inside the bag, you can always do it here. 
Nothing fancy, no quick access zips or anything, but I think it just does its job as a, as a good everyday carry or even travel bag. The bag does come in different uh, capacities. This is the 30 litre one. If you roll it down, it actually works out to be about 20 litres and it's only 30 when you fully extend it. It also comes in a 48 litre version. So if you need something a lot bigger, you have a bigger size like me, I think this bag looks, still looks a bit small on me. Yeah, something for you to consider. So if you like the video, do, uh, do drop us a like. If you, if you have any questions, do comment below and we'll try to answer you. This bag, I, I personally own it, so if there's anything, I can I can test it out and I can let you know. And if you enjoy watching our videos, do subscribe. You can subscribe to Guruhan.sg and, and check our website for a lot more interesting hunts. Thank you.